Your Excellency, welcome to this interview. 40 years of ADIPAC, 40 years of a success story from Abu Dhabi to the world. Why people come back here and how important it is to have such a platform nowadays? Well, thank you very much. Let me start by uh, thanking UAE for organizing this important event and congratulating them also for the 40th anniversary of ADIPAC, which proved to be a vital, very important platform uh, that uh, gathers uh, uh, officials from uh, governments, uh, private sector, uh, investors, uh, international organizations, civil society organizations as well, to talk about a challenge that uh, we all face. Uh, we all know that uh, some challenges that uh, face uh, uh, the humanity uh, cannot be solved within the boundary of a single one country, like the energy, energy security, like climate change issues. So. Uh, this gathering, when we bring together all stakeholders, all players, we can talk to each other, we can exchange views, we can find uh, sustainable solutions. Tell me more, how is Jordan and how is the energy transition in Jordan? Uh, in Jordan, uh, as you might know, uh, we used to uh, rely on imports to meet our energy need. And uh, I can say that we started our transition years ago. Uh, when we uh, started to diversify the sources of energy. Uh, we uh, today uh, have 27% of our electricity coming from renewable energy resources, solar and wind. If we go back 10 years ago, it was only 1%. Uh, we started to use natural gas more in electricity generation, so we have different resources that we can get from different destinations. Uh, we also uh, started to maximize the local resource, which is mainly renewable energy resources. So we are moving towards that. And today, as I mentioned, 27% of our electricity, we aim to reach 50% by 2030. I want to ask you about technology nowadays and AI. And I know Jordan have lots of talents in the energy sector. How important, how important it is nowadays to reskill and upskill those talents uh, well, uh, it's a very important question. Today, AI presents an opportunity uh, to benefit from, to optimize our, our resources. And uh, that's uh, an area we are working on in Jordan, uh, to use the artificial intelligence to maximize the benefits of renewables. When we speak about renewables, decentralized systems, we have tens of thousands of them. So it's difficult for humans to monitor those, uh, to supervise those. Uh, so today, I think it AI presents an uh, excellent opportunity for us to better manage the generation and the consumption from, from the other side. So I think that it will, it will help us. Uh, uh, in Jordan, we are lucky that we have the, the talents uh, who can help in developing uh, this uh, uh, technology, if I may say, the whole ecosystem that will help us again manage the supply side and the demand side. And here also it comes the uh, cooperation with neighboring countries as uh, an, uh, neighboring countries as an important also area uh, where we can explore uh, opportunities for mutual benefits for, for all of us.